What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how I set up my mining rig. This is more like a tutorial. Now a couple of weeks back, I gave you a glimpse at my mining rig. A lot of you guys love the video, but you wanted me to do a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you guys how to set it up. So in this video, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna show you all the hardware you're gonna need, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to set it up, so stay tuned. All right, so this is the USB-powered hub, and this is by Satachi. This one's highly recommended by a bunch of people. And I got this from Amazon. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description. All right, so this is a USB powered fan. I picked this one up from Amazon. A lot of people recommended it. And I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. All right, so last but not least, this is the Bitmain Antminer S2. This uh, can pull off like a little bit over two giga hash. And this is what we're going to be using to actually do our mining. Alright guys, now we're at our second step here of this video. I'm going to show you guys how to actually install everything we need to in install to get this thing to start mining. Now, in uh, part one of this video, I showed you guys how to install the actual hardware. The powered hub, the fan, the ant miner U2, how to connect it and everything. So now we're going to install the software and, and actually start mining. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is make sure that our computer recognizes or reads uh, the U2 Ant Miner. To do that, uh, first make sure you uh, connect everything to the hub. Hub is connected to your computer. Now power on the hub, and you should hear something, uh, and it should it might start installing something depending on your version of Windows. But let it run. Uh, again, mine installed, installed everything in the background. Now, to figure out whether or not anything was installed, just open up Start Menu, navigate to your control panel, click on Hardware and Sound, then click on Devices and Printer. And it should load a bunch of different devices. Now, it should look something like this. If it installed it successfully, you would see uh, CP2102. USB to UART bridge. That is your actual uh, amp miner U2. Now that's not the final final uh, driver. We're going to install something right on top of this. But it's a good thing if you see this. That means your computer recognized the actual miner. So now let's minimize this here. Now we're going to have to uh, download a program to install that driver. It's a small program, so it'll take about like 30 seconds to download and install. So open up your web browser, navigate to this link here. It's sadig.akeo.ie. Once you get to this page, you're going to scroll down so you see these two download links here. Most of us are gonna click on the top one because we, don't, we are not running Windows XP. If you're running Windows that's not Windows XP, click on this top link here. So let's do that now. It's gonna start downloading the actual software. It's a small download. Give it about 30 seconds to download and you should be good. All right, so once it's finished downloading, just double click the file. And if something pops up, click yes. Then uh, it should look something like this. Let's just minimize this here. Now, first thing we do is click on options, list all devices. And by it listed mine by default. This is the actual device here, the CP2102 USB2 UAR uh, T bridge, right? But if you, if you don't see it right away, just click on this drop down arrow thing here and select it from this uh, list here. And it's again, it's CP2102 USB2 UART bridge controller. Once you have that selected, we're gonna click on this reinstall driver. It's going to install this driver onto the actual device itself. So click on reinstall driver, give it about 30 seconds or less to install. And then once it's, uh, once it's finished installing and it's, everything was successful, it's going to say driver installation. The driver was installed successfully. So close that, close that. Uh, we got that part out of the way. We know our ant miner is ready to go. Now we need to uh, download a wallet and, uh, and join a mining pool. So let's first download the wallet. And we're going to go to the second link here. And the second link is BIT coin.org forward slash en forward slash uh, choose hyphen your hyphen wallet right once we get to this page remember all my links are going to be in the description so if you if you don't want to type it you can just copy it from my description choose desktop i'm going to choose windows because i'm running windows and uh, 
I'm, I'm, for this video, I'm going to choose Bitcoin Core. Now, you can use any uh, Bitcoin wallet you want. I, I like this one, so I'm, I'm going to pick this one for this video. So you've uh, set up your Bitcoin wallet. All we need is that uh, Bitcoin address, the one that ha we use to receive money. So click on this link here. Click on install up here. Click on this download Bitcoin core here. Let it run. It should take a minute to uh, finish downloading. So when the download is finished, just double click the download file. If something pops up, click yes. Now I already installed mine, so I'm not gonna go through this installation. Just click on next, next, yes, next, yes, next, 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 yes. Then uh, once you've finished downloading and installing that, uh, you're gonna open it up. I got mine here, so I'm just gonna search for it. It's Bitcoin Core. And uh, I have a 64-bit operating system, so it downloaded the 64-bit version. So click on the icon so that uh, your wallet can uh, load. And uh, whatever it says, allow access, let's click on allow access. It's not a big deal. Then it's verifying some stuff. Now this is your Bitcoin wallet here. This is where you do all your transactions. Uh, this is where you can figure out what your Bitcoin address is, the address for receiving, not sending. So uh, click on file here, then click on receiving address. And click on this and just click copy down here. Well, this is highlighted. Make sure this is highlighted and then click on copy, right? So it's going to copy your uh, receiving address, right? So keep that in your clipboard. We're going to paste it on to something else later on. You can jot this down. You copy this and paste it anywhere you want. Remember it. It's very important because this is what this is the address we're going to use to uh, receive the money from, again, the pool. All the money you mined. Uh, has to be sent somewhere, so it's sent to a wallet. This is your wallet. This is your address for receiving money. So close this. After you copy that, we're going to minimize this. Now we need to join a pool. Now open up your browser again, and it's going to be this third link here. It's mining.bitcoin.cz forward slash home forward slash. This is, uh, I guess, the most one of the most popular uh, Bitcoin mining pools. It's Luscious Pool. I, I like this pool. Uh, you have to create an account. I have mine already created, but to create an account, all you have to do is sign up here or click on sign up here, whichever one. Click on sign up here, follow the instructions, go through all that. Once you're finished uh, signing up, you're going to log in. So I'm going to log into mine right now. So once you're logged in, it's going to look something like this. It's automatically by default going to go to your dashboard. Now you're going to want to go to uh, your settings, right? Click on settings here. Uh, you're going to want to uh, the most one of the most important things here is your payouts, right? So whenever you're mining, uh, the money you mine has to go somewhere. So you, you click on payouts here, and uh, paste your remember the thing we copied, just paste it here. Click on uh, or new wallet. You would add you would add your wallet, and paste it there. So your this is my address. You would paste your address here, then click on. Uh, you're, you got to type in your threshold. How many? Uh, your threshold is basically you have to reach this amount. You select to get a payout. So let's say you, uh, you don't want uh, you don't want the mine to to, to uh, send you the money until you uh, until you get to like one bitcoin or point one bitcoin or whatever whatever threshold you set. And uh, and basically it's a fee. I think it's a point zero one fee. So. Um, you hit save, then it stores all that information. So whenever you do reach your threshold, it's gonna send that money to your wallet automatically. So that's why uh, copying that uh, address, that receiving address from our Bitcoin wallet was important. So we could paste it here, create it here, set a threshold and save it, then hit save. Now we need to create workers. So next thing we're gonna need to do is click on this workers tab up here, right? Click on new worker. I already have a worker created. You by default it creates your username dot worker one. I kept that, uh, but if you want to create a new worker, you can click on new worker. Uh, remember, it's it's gonna be your username dot whatever uh, login suffix would be. Your login suffix is after the dot. So, mine is uh, it could be anything you want for sim dot then down here red and save it. You know what I mean? So this would be your uh, mining uh, username, resim.red or whatever you select here. By default, it's going to be uh, your username dot 
and whatever worker name you select. So mine says, I like kept it by default, uh, resim.worker1. Your username would be uh, your username.worker1. If you created a new one, I created resim. Let's say one. And I'm going to hit save. That's pretty much it. I'll give it a second or two to save. So now uh, you created a new worker. Let's go to workers again. Now there's two workers. There's uh, one and there's worker one. So remember, the username is going to be your username. My username is my name, R-A-S-I-M dot. So it's it's going to be your username dot whatever worker you created here. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So now we're going to download our actual mining software. It's called CG Miner. To do that, open up our browser and we're going to navigate to this page here. It's uh, www.filedropper.com forward slash CG Miner hyphen run hyphen windows hyphen 20131224. Again, this link is going to be in the description. Once you get here, click on this download this file. Type in the characters uh, it tells you to type in. I'm going to type in mine now. And then hit download this file and it should start to download right away. And it starts downloading as you can see mine is downloading right now and it's already finished. Once it's finished, if it hasn't extracted itself, extract it to the desktop. Uh, if, it, if it hasn't extracted itself, you have to uh, go to your downloads, find out wherever you downloaded that file, go to that downloads, right? In Windows, there's a download folder usually. Go to go to download, wherever you download your folder. Go to wherever that file downloaded, double click the file, and extract it to your desktop, All right? I already have one on the desktop. I'm gonna extract it again and replace it. So, so now that that's done, uh, double click the file we just downloaded. It's uh, CG minor forward slash run, right? So now what we gotta do is open up our notepad I'm going to type in notepad here in the search. If, you have, if you're running Windows, you should have a notepad. Open up notepad. And we're going to paste a few things here. This is what we're going to paste. And this is also going to be in the description. Now, the few things are going to change. If you're going to keep the same pool here, this is the pool address, then you could keep this the same. The same pool I showed you, if you're going to keep slushes pool, keep this address the same. If you're going to uh, use a different pool, you have to paste that address right here. Now, this part here, after the uh, hyphen U is the username, uh, or actually the your worker's name or worker username. Uh, by default, if you're using Slush's pool, it creates one for you. It's called worker1. So it's your username dot worker1 if you're going to use the default one. My username is Rasim, and I added the dot worker1. Uh, if you created a different uh, a uh, different worker, then you would uh, paste that here. Remember, if you're using Slush's pool, it's your username, the same username you used to uh, log into the pool, dot the worker you created. By default, it uh, by default it creates worker one. If you created a new one, you would put that worker there. Now, password here, after the uh, hyphen P is the, or you would put the password. And it could be anything. You have to type something, but it can be anything. And I typed anything. So now we have to save this file and hit file, save as. We've got to select the location. We want to save it in the same folder we just extracted, that CG Miner folder. Uh, we have it in the desktop and it's called CG Miner uh, hyphen run, right? And uh, we're going to click on uh, open. Then uh, we're going to type in a name here. It could be any name you want. I'm going to type in mine. For mine, I'm going to type in minor, I'm M-I-N-E-R-2. And uh, you can type in whatever name you want. I'm going to call mine minor2. And this part is very important. You have to add, add a dot, B-A-T, after the name. And it has to be together. So whatever name you chose for this file, make sure you add a dot, B-A-T. And then uh, over here under uh, save as type, select all files. Then hit save. Then you can close this here. We're going to search for the file we just created. And uh, this is the file we just created. Now, this is the final step. Once we click on this file, it should start mining. You should start the software and it should start mining. You should, you should see your miner on there. Uh, before you click on this, make sure your, uh, your power hub is connected to your computer. It's powered on and you have your uh, ASCII miner. We're using the, the Bitman Ant Miner U2. Make sure it's connected. 
whenever once everything's connected we're going to double click the file we just created and it should start mining and we're going to see it mining right now all right guys so if everything was installed successfully it should uh read your ascii miner your ant miner u2 if if you see this here if it says amu0 you know it read your ascii miner and it's working now up here it's going to give you the mega hash or giga hash rate of your devices and over here it will give you the average rate of your devices mega hash or giga hash now if everything is working and it's actually mining you'll see accepted the accepted means it's actually mining and it's making you money so if you see accepted it's good if you don't see accepted wait for a while if you still don't see it restart it and try it again but that's pretty much it for this part all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm Rasim from rossmertech.com and thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.